Okay, after we finish the slender surfaces or inclined surfaces, uh, we'll get into oblique surfaces. Uh, example 7. Okay, so we're given the top and the front view, and we have to draw the right side view. Okay. Alright, so we'll start doing our reference line, your four lines, the perpendicular to each other, we do it, okay? And then extension lines, of course, from all of the edges, each one of them, I don't have to show that again to you, okay? You should be able to do it, and we're going to do it in this example, we're going to use a mitre line, 45 degree, don't forget that. And make sure you cross all of the, alright, extension lines, got to cross all together on the mitre line. And then we will start labeling. So my top, don't forget top, and that's the front. Okay. So one, two. Oh wait a minute. Oh, let me check. Yeah, I already checked. Okay. So this is all right. So uh, top, and then the front, and we're drawing the right side view. Okay. So we have one and two. Okay. So since it's so obviously two, so we have one and then two, right? And then we have seven and six right there. 3 and 4 right here and then 5 okay go slow this is a looking looking the uh, projection uh, uh, from the front okay this is from the top and we're drawing the right side and all cross all of your extension lines all together from your mitre line and then we start giving the points for each one of them so this point is one coming out from here okay track all of your extension line and you will see the number the number okay is going to be at the extension line and your crossings are the points okay so you shouldn't have any kind of issue with that at all. you can start labeling on uh, any way you want just make sure that you get the same uh, point label right to your right side projection okay then I'm going to draw my projection right there okay so that's my right side projection erase everything and then connect okay so I've got my top and then my front and then my right side it's a little bit difficult for you to, to uh, see it for now but after one or two weeks later you get faster so let's take a look at our animation your top and then your front and then you're right, and this is your pictorial. Okay, we'll do it again. Your top, your front, your right, and then your pictorial. Okay, so that's your oblique uh, surfaces. Okay, a little bit, it might be a little bit difficult for you to be able to uh, see it, but. Uh, if you practice, all right, um, you will get it. So make sure you practice it. Um, okay. All right. That's it for example seven.